What is the fourth dimension? To understand the fourth dimension, we first need to define what we mean by dimension. We live in a three-dimensional world, which means we can move in three directions, forward, backward, left, right, and up, down. We can visualize objects in three dimensions as having length, width, and height. However, scientists and mathematicians have suggested that there may be additional dimensions beyond what we can perceive. The concept of a fourth dimension arises when we consider the possibility of an additional axis perpendicular to the three dimensions we are familiar with. While it is difficult to visualize such a dimension, we can use mathematical models and analogies to gain a better understanding of what it might look like. One way to think about the fourth dimension is to imagine a world of three-dimensional objects that are all flat and thin, like sheets of paper. In such a world, we would only be able to see the length and width of the objects, but not their thickness. Similarly, in our three-dimensional world, we can only see length, width, and height, but not the additional dimension that may exist. Another popular interpretation of the fourth dimension is that it is time. In physics, time is often referred to as the fourth dimension, and it is often plotted on a graph along with the three spatial dimensions. Time behaves differently from the other dimensions we experience. We can move freely in the three spatial dimensions, but we cannot move back and forth in time. Time only moves forward, and we cannot go back to a previous moment. However, the concept of time as a dimension is essential in modern physics, especially in the theory of relativity. In this theory, time and space are not separate entities, but they are interconnected and form a four-dimensional continuum known as space-time. The theory of relativity suggests that time can be affected by the speed of an object and the gravity around it, and it plays a crucial role in our understanding of the universe. As we touched upon earlier, one way of thinking about the fourth dimension is as an additional axis that is perpendicular to the three dimensions of length, width, and height that we are familiar with. This fourth dimension is sometimes referred to as space-time as it encompasses both the three dimensions of space and the dimension of time. In this model, time is treated as just another dimension that we can move through, much like we can move through space. However, there are some important differences between time and the three spatial dimensions. Firstly, time only moves in one direction forward. We cannot travel backwards in time in the same way that we can move back and forth in space. This is a fundamental aspect of the universe and is related to the concept of entropy, the idea that the universe tends to move from a state of order to a state of disorder over time. Secondly, the way that we experience time is very different from the way that we experience space. We can move freely through space, but we are always moving forward in time at a constant rate. This rate is known as the speed of light, and it is a fundamental constant of the universe. However, the relationship between time and space is not as straightforward as it might first appear. According to the theory of relativity, the way that we experience time can be affected by the gravitational pull of massive objects. This means that time can move more slowly or more quickly depending on the environment we are in. For example, if you were to spend time near a massive object such as a black hole, time would appear to move more slowly for you than it would for someone observing you from a distance. This is because the intense gravitational pull of the black hole warps space-time, causing time to slow down. One way of understanding the fourth dimension is to use mathematical models and analogies. One of the most common models used is the hypercube, also known as a tesseract. The hypercube is a four-dimensional cube that is similar to a regular cube, but with an additional axis of symmetry. Just as a cube has six faces, a hypercube has 24 faces, 8 cubes, and 16 squares. While it is difficult to visualize the hypercube in three-dimensional space, we can use analogies to help us understand its structure. One common analogy is to imagine a cube that is made of smaller cubes, like a Rubik's Cube. In a Rubik's Cube, each cubelet can move independently of the others, allowing for complex patterns to be created. Similarly, in a hypercube, each cube can move independently of the others, creating complex geometries that are impossible to visualize in three dimensions. Another way of visualizing the fourth dimension is to use a technique known as projection. This involves taking a four-dimensional object and projecting it down into three-dimensional space. While this process results in a distorted image of the original object, it can help us understand the basic structure of four-dimensional shapes. For example, we can project a hypercube down into three-dimensional space to create a cube within a cube. This cube within a cube is a three-dimensional projection of a four-dimensional hypercube, 
and it has some interesting properties. For example, the corners of the inner cube are connected to the corners of the outer cube by lines that pass through the center of the larger cube. This creates a sense of depth and complexity that is not possible on a regular cube. Another way of exploring the fourth dimension is through mathematical equations and formulas. For example, one of the most famous equations in physics is E equals mc squared, which describes the relationship between energy and mass. This equation suggests that energy and mass are two aspects of the same thing, and it has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. One of the most profound implications of the fourth dimension is that it allows us to understand the universe in a more comprehensive way. By adding an additional axis of symmetry, we can represent complex shapes and geometries that were previously impossible to visualize. This has led to a deeper understanding of the nature of space and time, and has allowed scientists to explore the fundamental laws of physics in greater detail. In addition to these theoretical implications, the fourth dimension also has practical applications in fields such as computer graphics, robotics, and machine learning. By using mathematical models and algorithms, researchers can create virtual representations of four-dimensional objects and use these to solve complex problems in a variety of fields. Another important implication of the fourth dimension is that it challenges our understanding of reality. As we have seen, the fourth dimension is intimately connected to the dimension of time, and it suggests that time is not just a linear progression from past to future, but rather a complex and multidimensional structure that we are only beginning to understand. This has important philosophical implications, as it suggests that our perception of reality is limited by our three-dimensional perspective. By exploring the fourth dimension, we can gain a deeper insight into the nature of reality and the limitations of our own understanding. Finally, the fourth dimension also has important implications for our understanding of the universe as a whole. By exploring the properties of four-dimensional shapes and geometry, geometries, scientists can gain a deeper insight into the structure of the cosmos and the fundamental laws that govern it. For example, the theory of relativity suggests that the fabric of space-time can be distorted by the presence of massive objects, such as black holes. By understanding the properties of four-dimensional shapes and geometries, scientists can gain a better understanding of the way that space-time is warped by these objects, and the implications that this has for the structure of the universe. If you found this discussion on the fourth dimension informative and thought-provoking, please consider sharing it with your friends and family on social media. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up to support our efforts in bringing you more content on fascinating topics like this one. Thank you for your support.